Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the next video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is the dead in Christ will rise. Now or later. We see in the scripture, brothers and sisters, that the dead in Christ will rise. But there are different events in different timelines. We know that the ones who are under the altar and beheaded by the Lord, the fifth seal, will rise again and come to pass and be joined with a multitude closed and wide at the sixth seal. That will be the end of our second loop. There we see a dead in Christ rising. And most likely we see another one just before the battle of Armageddon or just shortly thereafter when the Lord is coming feet down on the Mount of Olives and another group will rise. Or it could be at the mid of trumpets, just before Mount Zion will go back into the third heaven, when Jesus will be cut off from the earth. There, another dead in Christ rising could take place. So what about our time now? Many people have asked, what is going to happen if we are going back into time? Back into 2015, what about the people who have died in between 2015 to 2021? Brothers and sisters, they will be back alive. Whoever has not died in 2015 will be there, will be back alive in 2015. But then the question is, of course, many people ask, will they then die a second time? No, because that is not scriptural. The scripture says you will only die once and their body was destroyed at the time when they have died. Some people died in 216, some people died in 219. Whatever the case is, their body was destroyed at that time. And their soul most likely, this is speculation, has gone to Abraham's bosom. So now, when you go back into time to 2015, then these people are still alive. So then the question is there, what will happen to them when they reach their date of this? that they had before in 2016 or in 2019, which are examples. Will they die again? No, of course, this cannot be, because scripture cannot fail. So what will happen is that these people at that time, when they had died before, will just vanish. They will just uh, stop to exist, because we are in manipulated time. We are in, an, in, in another timeline. But the body is gone. So they will just vanish at that time. So if somebody has died in August the 5th of 2016, and we go back to 2015, then he will be alive until that time of August 2016, and then he will just vanish. He will not die again. He will just disappear. Because it is a manipulated timeline. So we have to understand that no matter how it is, the people will be there again, but they will not die a second time. And this is not really what you can count, the dead in Christ rising at this time, because it's a time manipulation. We know it is the enemy looping the people into another timeline. What is the changing of times and laws? The rising of the, Christ, the dead in Christ are coming at the sixth seal, when the Lord has come to stop this time looping, when he comes to make an end to the times and dates as it is written in the scripture, then it will happen. Or at the time of this time frame when there is no loop from 2018 to 2021, what is our second time frame? Then the dead in Christ will rise because it is in relation to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and not through manipulated time. So we have to understand that although we will see the people who have died in the time frame from 2015 to 2021, it is just to manipulate the time and they will vanish at the time when their body was destroyed. And the soul will return then to the places that it belongs or what is also a question mark, if they could have changed their lifestyle but through their choices, because they were instructed by the harvesting brides to change it, to go then to any other place, that is also possible. 
We have to see what the Lord decides about that. And when we walk with Jesus on 40 days here on earth, we will ask all these questions that are still yet open. And that is a major question that have to be answered. If it's possible to change all the people who will be then available again in 2015, 2016, 17, 18, and uh, to, to bit from 2015 to 2017, and then from 2014 to 2017. If we will change their destiny, and I believe that is possible, that when we have our mandate to bring in a harvest, we can also harvest the people until the time when they vanish. So there is a great hope for many of our friends, families and members that we were worried about. So there is a great chance that we can do a much greater work than we even think. The dead in Christ will rise, but not now. This will be manipulated time that will give us a chance to stand in the gap for the people. The dead in Christ, as is in the scripture, rising from the graves, will take place at the sixth seal and then during the trumpet tribulation. The time has come. Brothers and sisters, get the understanding that we will see the loved ones, the people that we have lost, they will be there again. But remember, that the time will come when they will vanish from that manipulated timeline. I hope this helps to clarify some issues that some people had. I know in that time frame I lost my mother, so my mother will be back again. And I will try everything to stand in the gap for her, if she is not already in a perfect way with the Lord. But I will stand in the gap for her anyway so that I can bring her also to Mount Zion and then into the hands of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. I know she was a believer and I know she, that she was praying and I know that she st stood close with the Lord. So maybe I do not have to do anything, but no matter what, I will do it. And you, I know also you, brothers and sisters, will do it for your relatives and your loved ones and all that you are worried about if they would reach eternal life. So let us stand in the gap for our people and we will allow the Lord to make a decision about it. But we know that it, it, there is free will and we also know that these people have to make a choice by themselves during that time. But at least we can stand in the gap. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.